Hi, this is Master Teacher 33. I want to welcome everyone and hopefully you're having a great day. Today I'm making a brief video about 2012. You know, there's been a lot of talk about 2012 and what 2012 represents. Here's my, my two cents on 2012. 2012 is about the year of sharing. If you notice here on my board, it says, share your share in 2012. So 2012 is the year of sharing and caring. What does that mean? Well, contrary to popular belief, if you go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, and let me just read, a, 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 a re, read it really quickly for you. 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 says, My little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, one who, uh, if any man sins, then we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, our righteousness. So, in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, it says that, my little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. That word sin, in 1 John chapter 2, is where I get my word share. See, contrary to popular belief, sin is living without your share. Now let me say that again. Sin, the Greek word for that word sin, there is hamantano. So hamantano in that verse means to be without a share in. Let me say that again. It's very important. 2012 is living without your share. So what Christ is doing, what Yahushua is doing, is he wants to include you. He wants to give you back your share. So 2012 is all about living with your share instead of living without your share. And once you obtain your share, it's about sharing and giving your share. See, you have everything that you need for life and godliness. Let me say that again. You have, meaning past tense. God has already given you everything that you need for life and godliness. So 2012 is all about realizing that there is nothing that you need outside of yourself. Everything is within your job is to share what you already have. See, it, it took me a long time to figure this out. Because I, I was living, but I wasn't really living. So, there's this concept in science. And as you know, as a president and founder of the Eagles Club, I'm all about eagerly advancing godly living and economics, scripturally and scientifically. So it's about the combination of or combining science and spirituality, not religion, universal spiritual law, quantum physics, sympathetic resonance. You see, we are all nothing but waves. We are a frequency. We're, we're, we're vibration. We're sound. We are generators and converters. Let me say that again. If you go to your Bible, that same verse, that same chapter, 2 John, chapter 1, where it says Father. That word Father in the Greek means generator or progenitor. So a generator is something that produces energy, waves, frequency, sound. So this energy, this wave, this frequency, sound that's been generated is received by you and I. That's why we have our five senses. Our five senses converts that wave, frequency, vibration, sound that is sent by the supreme generators. Now there are other generators out there. There is the anti or the opposite generator. Then there are a lot of little or demigods or small generators. You want to make sure that you are connected. That you are receiving. The scripture says to bring every thought into captivity and see if it is of the Father, God, the Supreme Generator. You want to convert. See, your eyes convert waves into light. 
Your ears, what you are hearing is a wave. It's a frequency. It's a sound. It's a vibration. That's what science tells us. So that wave, that frequency, that sound is converted by your eardrum into sound. Frequency. Grammar. Grammoria. Grammoria, that, that word grammoria means putting words, which are letters, which are symbols, which are sigils, in a particular order to invoke a spiritual response. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting my words in a particular order that invokes a spiritual response. So 2012 is about understanding, overstanding, and understanding that you are living without something needed. That's what sin is. Sin is living without your share. And if you are living without your share, you're going to miss the mark. Sin also means missing the mark. You see, if you go on a trip and you forget to take your map, you're going to miss your destination. But missing the destination is the effect. It's not the cause. The cause... The reason that you missed the mark is because you didn't take your map. You see, my brother, my sister, you're missing the mark financially. You're missing the mark spiritually. And you're missing the mark health-wise or physically. In order for 2012 to be your year, you need spiritual resonance or what science calls sympathetic resonance. Now, listen to this. This, this, is, this is interesting. Sympathetic resonance. Sympathetic resonance means it is a harmonic phenomenon, a sound, wave, frequency, vibration. The scripture says in the beginning was sound, word, frequency, by vibration. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. All things that exist was made through, by him. Nothing exists. That was not made by the supreme generator. By sound, frequency, vibration. Hebrews 4.12 tells us that the word of God, the sound of God, is more, it's alive. It's more powerful than any two-edged sword. So it's all about this, this sound, this frequency, this vibration, this wave. So science tells us, according to this phenomenon called sympathetic resonancy, that was discovered by Nikola Tesla back in like 1890. That if a formerly passive, non-vibrating body, it will respond to external vibrations to which it has a harmonic likeness. Let me say that again. In layman's terms, what that means is if something is dead, and it can get next to. Now, it, I, I, the whole definition says it does not have to be touching. It just has to be near. So if you're vibrating at the prosperity consciousness, if you're vibrating with a health consciousness, if you're vibrating with a spiritual power and wisdom, you can affect people that are dead, that are not vibrating. That is what I call spiritual resonance. 2012 is about the generator is generating, the Father, the creator of all other creators, is generating a spiritual resonance. Your job, my brother, my sister, is to convert that resonance into your share. Now, I'm doing an entire webinar on this particular topic. Six hours. And we're going to go through each one of these steps. We're going to reveal, explain, illuminate, and simplify how to find your share. Now also, in the Greek, that word hamentero means share, lot, destiny, or purpose. What I call your dear Kinnear. Now I've been doing this for over 20 years. I've done over a thousand dear Kinnear reports. A hundred percent accuracy. I will give you a thousand dollars if you let me do a Dear Kinnear report and you can prove that it's wrong. I'm confident, a hundred percent confident. This works, why? Because it's universal law. It's based on sound.
frequency, vibration, quantum physics, neuro neuro linguistics. It's based on grammaria, grammar, the ability to put words in a particular order to invoke a particular response. So once you find your share, then you must launch your share. Once you launch your share, then it's time to finance your share. You see, the provisions is in the vision. The scripture says where there is no vision, people cast off restraint. That means that they go wild. They do not have the ability to exercise self-control. Trust me. I lived that life for a long time. Where there is no vision, there is a failure to launch. So you must know your share. You must know your purpose. You must know your lot. You must know your destiny. You must know your dear Kinnear in order to launch your destiny. Then we're going to reveal, explain, illuminate, and simplify how to finance your share, how to promote your share, and last, how to monetize a profit from your share. Now this seminar or webinar is going to be done on January the 15th at 7 p.m. You can go to my site and register. It's at anymeeting.com slash master teacher. Let me say that again. To go register for the upcoming webinar on 2012, the year of sharing. This, my brother, this, my sister, is your year. I will double, triple your money back if what I am telling you does not produce results. Why? It's based on the Word of God. The scripture says that the Word cannot return void. It must accomplish that for which is sent. I stand on the word. So sin means living without your share. Sin means living without your part. Sin means living without your lot. Sin means living without something needed. Sin means living without your destiny. Are you living today without your destiny? This is Master Teacher 33. Go to my website. www.anymeeting.com backslash master teacher or you can go to masterteacher33.com register for this upcoming seminar I guarantee you that you will be blessed